So today again we have uh, the last session that we are going to discuss about VB commands. Uh, here you see, uh, I mean, in this material you have uh, most of the uh, controls that will be necessary when you want to develop a very simple application. But this will not contain all the things that you have that you we have in uh, VB, right? Uh, so first of all, we'll discuss whatever the things we see here in this lecture material and thereafter uh, we can check what are the other controls available uh, within this VB application, okay? Uh, right. Uh, right. So we are going to discuss about uh, some important controls and commands and here uh, there are a list of controls that we can have or we can simply uh, draw uh, within our form, right? So whatever the controls you see here, I think you all can see there are a number of interfaces, right? So those interfaces can be uh, added into your VB application and uh, you can use those controls to use to uh, do some calculations also, right? So let's see what, what we have here in these uh, places. Uh, first one you have is message boxes. Okay, so if you want to display any message on the screen on your VB application, you can use uh, this one, right? And here the syntax to use that is given here. So what you have to use is you have to give uh, this MSG box, right? that is how you refer to that control and thereafter within double quote you can give whatever the message you want to uh, weave on the screen. Right? So there are different types of uh, message boxes. So based on the type you are going to select, uh, the appearance, appearance will be different. Right? I think it is clear to you. For an example, here you have uh, two examples and when you look at the uh, control, the way it looks or the way uh, you can see it, the appearance is different, right? Example one in MSG box, that means you are going to use message box and uh, they are within double quotation. You have welcome to my first application, okay? So welcome to uh, my application is the message that you will be displaying into the displaying to the user. Okay. So here, welcome to my first application is given here. And when you check the type, right, it is VB OK only button. That means uh, it will show this OK button down there. And the title of this message box is again can be given within this double quotation, right? So message boxes usually uh, start with this MSG box. Thereafter, you can include double quotation and uh, you can select whatever the type you want. And thereafter, uh, you can give the title, right? Here you have that. And when you use this VB yes, no, option right so you have another type of message box message box that will appear on your screen uh, and here again you can give the message within the first uh, double quote and the last option is to mention about the type right message box or uh, you want to delete the record right so usually uh, two controls will be there Yes or no. And uh, finally, you have the title, right? So we are not, your for this subject, actually, uh, you do not ha have to know, or you, you do not have to learn all the possible things that you can do with these controls. Just know, just understand, or just remember that you have these type of things, right? Because we are not going to develop uh, very complex or complex applications, right? This subject is just to give an idea what kind of things are possible, right? 
So it is not uh, really necessary to go uh, or learn very deeply. Just identify and understand these controls are there. Okay. So here, using number of uh, different types that is that can be uh, used within your application. Uh, here you have VBOK only, VBOK cancel, VBS no cancel, and so on. Right. So based on the uh, type you are going to use, the appearance will be different, right? Because for different applications, we will need uh, different controls, right? That's why we have that number of message box, box types. Okay. And here, the second one, input box, is given there. Input box allows user to enter values. Since it returns values, need to get the values to a variable. Uh, so usually what you can do is you can get the values from the user and you can save it within a variable that you have already created within your system. Okay, here example is given dim name as string. You already know about this first line. Dim name as string means you are going to create a variable. Variable name is name and uh, the type of the variable is string. That means you are going to uh, save some letters to that name variable, right? So from where you are going to uh, input those letters uh, is mentioned in this place, right? Name equal input box enter your name here means enter your name here uh, will appear within the input box. Okay, so here you have input box. So as you can see here, enter your name is a will be appeared here so the output can be or, or the uh, user input can be taken uh, within the place available to you here right so whatever you enter within this input box will be taken with help of the, this input box uh, parenthesis and your part right so it will come to this place and what you are going to do is you are going to save it within the name variable. So once you mention the means name equal input box, whatever the message you want to show, the value that will be entered to that input box will be saved within name variable. So that is what going to that is what's uh, what's going to happen when you use this command. Okay. Right. So here uh, this is about manipulating strings. That means you are going to uh, do certain tasks with help, help of uh, strings, right? right? Here you have some uh, string manipulation uh, commands or expressions that you can use. And, and uh, VB, CRLF, and LEN, right? So AND is usually used to concat, to separate things together, right? You know, contact concat means you are going to add those two those two things together, right? That is what's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So here, example is given: message box, message, and this one, right? You, you can give whatever the message you want to give, and along with that, you are going to show this part also, right? And uh, this one is a line break. So if you want to uh, give two separate things, here you have message and uh, you are going to give a break. That means go to a new line and then it will print message two. Okay. And here length means <coughs> length of or number of characters you have there. So that can be uh, taken using this one, right? We are going. We are not going to practice these things today because uh, with the problem we have with the software, we'll uh, practice these things later. Until then, remember uh, the the idea behind these things. Okay, so we'll uh, try these things once we once you all can access uh, the laboratory, and thereafter we'll do that. Okay. Team name mastering. Uh, here you see name equal. Uh, uh, Samadara, right? Samadara and message box can be uh, 
used by mentioning a message length is equal and length uh, length means you are going to get the length of whatever the given variable right so here variable name is name and it contains the value samadara and if you get length within bracket the variable name the length of the variable name will be taken in this case samadara uh, is a word having eight separate letters right so the length name expression will return you that count right so what will happen is when you use this message box len is equal and and is to concat that means uh, to add those values together i mean uh, this is not uh, about uh, adding means not summation right this is not summation you are going to concat uh, writing those closely together right that is what we mean by concatenation and it is different from uh, addition i mean uh, what you are going to sum so, summing the values okay so here len name means size of the name it is eight and here if you see this control you can see both uh, message and length can appear together at the same place right so that is about concatenation and having len expression and if you wish to uh, use line break then again you can uh, use this vbcrlf uh, expression also okay And here, uh, some more expressions uh, left uh, left part, right? So what will happen is the uh, same variable is taken as the example message box box left within bracket. You have name and comma and three, right? So three characters from left hand side will be returned from this expression. So when you take this value, Samadara, first three letters are S-A-M, right? So from left-hand side, if you read three characters, then the value will be Sam. So since you have this within a message box, it will be displayed on a message box, okay? Right, so in any case, if you want to uh, get characters from right-hand side, what do you have to do? You have to replace this left with help of right, right? So no examples are given here, but uh, how you can write is, you can write right and then parenthesis within bracket, you can mention name and number of characters you want to uh, capture, okay? And here you have lowercase and uppercase. Uh, lowercase, can be uh, can be considered if you use L case and if you want to convert it into uppercase you can use Q case right so whatever the expression can be mentioned within there uh, within the parenthesis okay and daytime date and time control and here uh, this is uh, about how you can see your uh, date, I mean the system date and the system type, the system time, okay? So here date will return uh, the system date. So in this case, you can see a message displaying its date. And if you want to see the time, here you have time and that is again also, that is, that is also the system time you have within your system right okay so here i'm going to uh, explain another one also which is not given here in the material uh, this is about input validation uh, and here we discuss about input boxes when we want to take input right but if you think about text boxes again i can't write that is also possible uh, for you to use to get values from this screen. For an example, if when you create a form, 
usually you know you can uh, use labels right so if you say name here right and here in on the other hand you can uh, mention whatever the uh, values should be entered with help of a text box right so this is usually a text box but it is not given in this material but uh, since it is mentioned here and since we have that for the examination we will discuss that uh, within this place okay so input validation so now you know you can take input with help of a message box other than other than using a message box you can use a text box also right text box so text box will simply look something like this so whatever the values could be inserted here right then uh, is numeric function verifies whether the value entered is truly numeric right just forget about uh, that it is just a function that you can check whether it's uh, truly numeric or not right i think you all know what we mean by numeric right numbers okay so if you want to check whether uh, it is numeric then this function is called that function is used to check that right so here this uh, slide talk about input validation so what you are going to do within this form is you are going to validate whatever the input you insert into your form right before that you need to know this because otherwise you don't know how to use an input okay so assume that you have a text box within your vb application and what you are going to do is you are going to enter value here one two let's say one two three four okay and within this part of the program you are going to check whether the value you inserted into this text box is a number or not right okay so if else and end if conditions we have already discussed during last weeks and you know what it means if you have to check the checker condition if this condition is true whatever the things in between if and this else part will happen and if the condition is false whatever you see here will happen right so this will be executed when when the condition is true and this will be executed when the condition is false okay and here you have the function is numeric right it's not a problem right you can simply use that and within bracket you have to mention what you want to check right that means this part is the part that you are going to check whether it's a it's a numeric value or not right and message box you already know how to uh, give a message box simply you can mention message box only numeric values are accepted right so here you don't have that uh, uh, what we call that uh, what we learned before i mean here right here you have this type and title right in that that one you are not going to use those things types or uh, titles you will just going to show a message right so you are not going to uh, use this uh, whatever the controls you have here you are not going to use those things or else you, you are not going to use any title here so simply a very simple message will appear on the screen just mentioning the message okay that's what what that is what's going to happen in the, this last message box right so only numeric values are accepted part will be displayed on the screen and if the uh, answer or if this is not a numeric value you entered uh, you entered the numeric uh, values right so you can change the message right right uh, you enter the numeric uh, values will be printed if not right but here um, i am going to remove this part also okay 
now it's okay and uh, then you will have to print this i think I, 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 i'll do that again i think it will be clear to you okay so i'm going to discuss about two separate parts right so e is numeric and here you have another one not right so assume that you don't have not part here so if not part is not there then usually this will happen uh, that means that means that that means you are going to check whether it is numeric right so yes means yes it is numeric and here usually we go for false now and here in this case what you are going to do is this is not numeric but in this case you have used if not right so not is numeric means this is not a number so again that condition is true means in this case it is not a number that's why it displays only numeric values are accepted and on the other hand it displays only entered only uh, you you enter the numeric value right so that is the difference so here you are, you have two things to consider not is numeric right so function is usually this part is numeric right so that is what you are going to learn from this slide and this is something in addition right so don't mix up these two things it's totally okay if you use only is numeric right so is numeric if yes what you have to do is you will have to shift these two messages right if you are only planning to use is numeric you can mention message box you went to enter the numeric value up here at the first place okay and at the second place you can mention only numeric values are accepted right that is for is numeric part only but since this example contains not also then you have these uh, two messages shifted right so however whenever the condition is true you will have to execute this part and whenever the condition is false you will have to expect you you will have to execute this part right so carefully check what is the condition you are going to check right in this case you are going to check if not is numeric whatever the value you given here right not is there that's why these two messages are given like this right so it is totally okay for you to remove this not part and use is numeric part only in that case you can uh, shift these two messages then it will make sense okay and now i am going to discuss about what you have here in the middle of this parenthesis okay txt number dot text okay txt number dot text so txt number usually refers to the name of this text box right in this example you can't see any screen so what is what has usually happened is you have a, a form and within the form you have a text box right as i told you already textbook text box just uh, looks like this and within that you can enter values not only numbers characters anything you can insert there and how you refer to the text is you refer to uh, that with help of the name you give plus dot text part right here you see dot text so assume the name you have given to this text box is txt number right that is the name of the text box you can give that that with help of the properties window right we have already done these things before whatever the controls you have here you can give a name right you know about captions and names right so you can change the name of this text box as txt number and whenever you say dot text right that means txt number dot 
text that means you are referring to the text you have entered here right so whenever you say txt number dot text this one will be taken into that right and for the calculation you will have to remember one more thing that means if you want to add numbers two numbers together usually what we will do is we are going to consider the value in that case you will have to use val txt number dot text okay remember that so you have what you have entered within this text box as a text but if you want to consider that as a value right because here one two three four can be simply think as a text right but if you consider the value it should be 1234 right so that is the value but if you consider that as a text it will just be one two and three four right so if you want to add two numbers together for an example assume that you have another text box and there you have value five right so if you want to add these two things together you have to consider the value not the text right so if you add as a text then you can't get the answer 1239 if you want to get the answer 1239 uh, then you will have to get the value and add those two things together in that case you can use val assume this is uh, txt num2 right? so you can get the value txt uh, num2 dot num2 dot text right and you can add these values together right that is not given this in this lecture material um, i will create a separate one if you think it is necessary uh, maybe a tutorial or something and give it to you but uh, if you feel that it is not necessary i think this explanation is also enough right ගන්න how they are Kiano Niganagan Kota Tiana Koma, they will get a Kataka and Ham Kota Ogula IT Noman and Isa, Buddha, Guru Tonavin in a hand, Samane Abodia Tikunanati Ekanisa, Gulanta, Buddha, Tutta, Tiana controls, the Koti Ganagana, Vashan a hand, with Tiana type stick about a Palagana, to whom they were a killer than a Gatanangati, a Rikat Kiano. The Palavinish Mogulanta Penalati in the message boxes. Message boxes, Mama Kaling Kiwagi, Varga Goda, Tina, then the Puluang Eva. Right? Like that, the Neke, Varge, Eva di Latina, me, Devani, Slide Deca Gatama, Niki Gulanta Pena, Dinitana. We be okay only, we be okay cancel, we be yes, no cancel, and so I good up, they were Tina. That a Tana message type the canoe, Gulanta screen make a pain a video. Venus, yes, no, message box, display uh can display karan on kiletan display karan no na may type title one of the two kelima dana msg box kela it was a double quotation nakula pitaliano ni pani deliano 
මේ උදාහරණ දෙක බලුවම උදාහරණේ බලන්න මෙතනත් MSG box මෙතනත් MSG box මෙතනත් MSG box ඒක සින්ටැක්ස් එක වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ ලියන විදිය මැසේජ් box කියලා ලියලා ඩිස්ප්ලේ කරන්න ඕන මැසේජ් එක ඔයගොල්ලෝ මෙහෙම ඩබල් කොටිෂන් එකක දෙන්න ඕනේ තියෙන මැසේජ් එක ඊට පස්සේ ටයිප් එකක් දෙනවා නම් ටයිප් එකක් දීලා මෙන්න ටයිටල් එකකුත් ඔයගලන්ට දෙන්න පුළුවන් හරි මෙතන දෙවනි උදාහරණේ තියෙන එකයි දෙවනි උදාහරණේ ටයිප් එක වෙනස් VB yes no කියලා තියෙන්නේ इनपुटेक्सान उगुलाइए මේ කවුරු හරි එක කපි වුණාට පස්සේ එන්ටර් කරලා තියෙන වැලියු එක. හරි. ඒක ඔයගොල්ලෝ මේ ලයින් එක දුන්නාම මොකද්ද ඔයගලන්ට වෙන්නේ? ඉන්පුට් බොක්ස් එකක් හදනවා. ඉන්පුට් බොක්ස් එකේ මැසේජ් එක මේ තියෙනවා. මැසේජස් අර මැසේජ් බොක්ස් එකේ දුන්නේ ඩබල් කොටිෂන් එකලනේ. මේ විදිහට මැසේජ් බොක්ස් මැසේජ් එක මෙතන තියෙනවා. මේකට එන වැලියු එක අපිට ගන්න කොහොමද අපි ගන්නේ? මේ ඉන්පුට් බොක්ස් වරහන දාලා මැසේජ් එක මෙහෙම දුන්නාම මැසේජ් එක सामान लाइन इनपुटिंग मेसेज मेसेज बॉक्स के ओगल लो देने सामान है डबल कोटेशन में क्या तुले मेसेज जगा अपने तेरे डबल कोटेशन में क्या तुले मेसेज जगा दे मेसेज जगा के क्या ओगल लो मेल वैल्यूज देखे एक तो आते ही लती है ना हाँ ये कटा ये देखे कलंग लिया नंबर्स लेके एक तो कर ला मेसेज जगा टेक का हमारे शे आगे लिया नहीं थी � मेसेज 
ඒක මැසේජ් කියන ඩබල් කොටේෂන් එක ඇතුලේ ලියලා ඒකටම එකතු කරලා තියෙනවා මොකද අලුත් ලයින් එකයි ඊළඟට තව මැසේජ් එක අලුත් ලයින් එකකට ගිහිල්ලා මැසේජ් 2 කියන එක print කරන්න කියලා තමයි කියන්නේ මැසේජ් box එකක් ඇතුලේ හරි ඒ තරම් එක දාලා තියෙන්නේ අර මැසේජ් box එකකට සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපි දෙන්නේ තනියාගයක් නිසා ඊළඟට len කියන එකෙන් size එක ගන්න පුළුවන් size එක කියන්නේ සාමාන්‍යයෙන් word එක ගත්තම characters කීයක් තියෙනවද කියන එක. ඒතර එතන සමදරා කියන එක characters තියෙන 8ක්. ඒ 8 ආරම් තියෙනවා. ආරම් තියෙන මේ len කියන expression එක හරහා හරි len ඊට පස්සේ අවශ්‍ය variable එක මෙතෙන්ට දීලා තියෙනවා. name නේ variable එක නම්. ඒ අගේ තමයි මෙතෙන්ට එන්නේ len name කියන variable එකේ length එක. ඒ length එක ගත්තම මේ characters 8යි. प्रिंट करने को तो बाला ने मेरे के कटमाई प्रिंट लाते हैं ने लेन नीस के लिए दाला तो ना कंकेट ऑपरेशन ने ने दिन कंकेट करना क्या ना लंगिंग लिए ना क्या ना क्या ना इधर कलंगिंग लिए लेते हैं ना लेन नीस सामान लाकर दिए ना बस एक लंगिंग में में तो नहीं एम लोग ने रिसाव जैसा प्रिंट कर लेते हैं ना तो � लेफ्ट हैंड साइड देखें कि ये अकाउंट कराना उन दिन के लिए बाले ला ये अकाउंट टेकल इतना कर गए ना पहने ना क्या ना ट्रिम करना आगे दे आप में तंदी बने तो ट्रिम कराने को हम उधर लेफ्ट के लिए दानवा लेफ्ट लेफ्ट पैटिंग वाम मध्य पैटिंग देखें ना कैरेक्टर्स सुना के दें वाम मध्य पैटिंग कैरेक्टर राइट हैंड का तो थे मोबलांट तूना के लिए दामों थे हम ए आर ए के लिए इतना ही नहीं राइट हैंड आना होना के लिए मैं राइट के लिए डाला ये तो पासे नेम के लिए डाला उन्हें कैरेक्टर्स का ना दिन हाथरा की तरफ क्या करे हाथरा दो मत थे मैं दरार के लिए तक कोटिस तमाय ने अरे ये वाके ये तो पासे लोग के सापोके� මොකද කමාන්ඩ් එක වෙනස් ඉතින් මෙතන කමාන්ඩ් එක l කේස් මෙතන කමාන්ඩ් එක u කේස් u කේස් කියවම අපර් කේස් l කේස් කියවම ලෝවර් කේස් හරි ඉතින් ඒකත් මැසේජ් box එකටම තමයි ඩිස්ප්ලේ කරලා තියෙන්නේ දැන් ඔයගොල්ලන්ට ඉතින් මැසේජ් box නැතුව වෙන මොකක් හරි print කරලා හරි බලන්න පුළුවන් දැක්කලවක් නැහැ ඊළඟට date and time date and time වලදී system date එක හරි يعني system date එක يعني අපේ මැෂින් එකේ අපි set කරලා තියෙන වෙලාවයි දිනේ තමයි ගන්නේ computer system එකේ මම නැතුව වෙන මොකක්වත් දිනයක් නෙවෙයි system date එක මෙතන ඔයගලන්ට පේනවා date කියලා කිව්වම time කියලා කිව්වම time එක ගන්න හරි ඉතින් මේ වගේ මේ double quotation මොනවද දාලා නැහැ මොකද double quotation දාන එකෙන් අපි අදහස් කරන්නේ මොනවා හරි දෙයක් ඒ විදිහටම print කරන්නේ බැරි වෙලා හරි ඔයගොල්ලෝ message box කියලා double quotation නැතුව date කියලා දැම්මත් මොකද වෙන්නේ එතකොට කැලෙම මේ box එක ඇතුලේ print වෙන්නේ date කියලා මේ මේක නිසා අමතක කරන්න එපා function calls වලදී අපි double quotation පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ නැහැ right so whenever you use a function don't use double quotation in any case if you mention double quotation that means you are going to write that as it is okay so you don't want to do that as it is in this case we just want to do that as an operation that's why we call it a function so you are going to do that as as an operation and get the value and display it here right and in this case also it is same but then the teva game my message box ekak kila dala time kila dunnama welawa ganne function ekak widihata yani eka execute kala etenin ena value ekak thama message box ekak athule penna bari wela hari double quotation dammu एक सिद्ध वेने ना है अरे इतर पाठ लोग आने पाम ये समाहरण तेन वाला डबल कोटेशन तीन वाला समाहरण तेन वाला डबल कोटेशन ना ये वाला पाठ लोग आने पाहरी में तो ना तो गुलाट पेन होने मैसेज की ना तो ना मैसेज की ना कि ये विधि तो में प्रिंट पेन होगा डबल कोटेशन तो ने का ये विधि तो प्रिंट पेन ना ये का मैसेज किए ना कोड़े से ये विधि हमारे इतने वाके ऑपरेशंस में लेन किए ना कात में डबल कोटेशन ना कोड़े दाल ना है ये का मात्र कितने आ गए हरे मैं आगे दिन हमारे लेफ्ट लोग केस अपर केस किए ना वाके डबल कोटेशन ना है हरे नतीवे नहीं है तो वाला ताए डबल कोटेशन पाविच करो लेफ्ट एडे में पारांतरिस तो हम कराने नहीं हैं ना तो ये जहाँ functions पाविच करने को टापी हैं ना दाने ना है मेरे को तो हमारी पोड़ा करे पैटली लेती है ना slide deck कट दिए ने मेरे को तीन अनिसा मंगे इधर हम मेरे को पाविच करला 
කරන්න ඕන දේවල් ලොකු ටික මෙතනම කිව්වා අපහැදලී නම් වගේ නම් මම ආයෙ පස්සේ වෙලාක ස්ලයිඩ් එකක් හදලා හරි අක් හරි වෙන ටියුටෝරියල් එකක් හරි ඔයගලන්ට දාන්න දැනට මේ ස්ලයිඩ් එක එහෙම තියෙන නිසා සහ එල්ලෙන මිස්සගේ තියෙන එකනේ ඒක නිසා පොඩක් මේකෙම ඉගෙන කියලා දෙන්නම් මම මොනවද මෙතන තියෙන දේවල් කියලා මෙතන දේවල් ගොඩක් තියෙනවා ඒකම ස්ලයිඩ් එක ඇතුලේ කියලා uh first of all input validation right so this is about input validation input ekak validate karanne kohomada kiyala validate kiyanne ara harida warutha ehema check karala balla ekak ne valid sheet ogol igena gena athini validate karanne kohomada kiyana ekak hari eka harida warida atta da boruda kiyala balla ekai karanna hara ithara mokatta validate karanne yanne input ekak user input ekak thamai validate karanne yanne right so when it comes to your mind at the for the first time you might think that this is going to uh, use an input box ogolanta ek paata me thinna puluwan then tick ekata kalin input box ekak kela men me hari igena gatte ne eka gena danna me kiyanne yanne kela ehema newey ape system ekata input karana onama deyak apita validate karaganna ona puluwan apita karanna puluwan eka deyak athe hama deyak wena newey e wage dewoluth karanna puluwan kiyala pennanna vitarak ogolanta eka command ekak metana deela thiyena හරි නැත්තම් මේ වගේ තියෙන මේක විතරද කරන්න පුළුවන් කියලා ඔයගොල්ලෝ හිතයි නේද ඔයගොල්ලන්ට අර වැඩි දුරට ගොඩාක් දුරට ඕන නැති හින්ද එක දෙයක් ගැන විතරයි මෙතන කියලා තියෙන්නේ ඊස් නියුමරික් කියන ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක ගැන හරි ඊස් නියුමරික් කියන ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකෙන් කරන්නේ නම්බර් එකක්ද නැද්ද කියලා චෙක් කරලා බලන එකයි කරා හරි ඒතර මෙතන එක්සැම්පල් එක ගත්තාම එක්සැම්පල් එකේ පොඩි ගැටලුවක් නෙවෙයි පොඩි කොටස් දෙකක් තියෙනවා ඔයගොල්ලන් පට්ලව ගන්න එපා फंक्षन එක ඉස්සරහට නොට් දාපු හින්ද තමයි ෆන්ක්ෂන් එක ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකක් නෙවෙයිද කියලා චෙක් වෙන්න රයිට් සෝ ඩොන්ට් මිස් අන්ඩර්ස්ටෑන්ඩ් දිස් ටු තින්ග්ස් දේ ආර් ටු සෙපරේට් තින්ග්ස් ෆන්ක්ෂන් ඉස් ඊස් නියුමරික් සෝ යා ගෝයින් ටු චෙක් වෙදර් ඉට් ඊස් අ නියුමරික් වැලියු ඔර් නොට් ඇන්ඩ් ඉෆ් යු ඇඩ් දිස් නොට් පාට් බිෆෝ දැට් දැට් මීන්ස් යා ගෝයින් ටු චෙක් වෙදර් ඉට්ස් ඉට් ඉස් නොට් අ නම්බර් රයිට් සෝ බේස්ඩ් ඔන් ද ක්වෙස්චන් ද මැසේජ් බොක්ස් දැට් යු හැව් ටු ගිව් විල් බී ඩිෆරන්ට් अमतर you have entered a numeric value කියන එක. يعني පල්ලි හැ තියෙන message එක. හරි ඒක ගොල්ලන්ට තියෙනවා නේ not කියන එක පොඩ්ඩකට අමතක කරන්න. ඊට පස්සේ else part එකට එන්න ඕනේ. is numeric කියලා ඇහුවම false නම්. يعني false නම් එන්න ඕනේ. numeric නෙවෙයි නම් only numeric values are accepted කියන message එක තමයි පහළට එන්නේ. හැබැයි මේ example එකේ not කියලා තමයි check කරලා තියෙන්නේ. ඒක condition එකේ check වෙන්න කොහොමද if not is numeric. ඒ කියන්නේ बल मेसेजे अभी 
කියන්න ටෙක්ස් බොක්සස් වලදී. ඒ ඉන්පුට් බොක්සස් වලදී ටෙක්ස් බොක්සස් වලදී කියන්නේ දෙකක්. දැන් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපි ස්ක්‍රීන් එකක් ඇන්දම මම කලුත් කිව්වා. මේ ටෙක්ස් බොක්සස් කී දෙයක් අන්න ඉන්න පුළුවන්. ඔයගොල්ලෝ ෆෝම් එකෙන් පුරවලා තියෙනවා ඔන්ලයින් නේද? ඒ Gmail ඇප්ලිකේෂන් එක මෙතන මේ කියන්නේ ඩේටා පුරවන්න තියෙන්නේ. ගොඩාක් පුරවන්න කොටු ත්‍රේ කොටු තමයි ටෙක්ස් බොක්සස් කියලා අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අඳුනන්නේ. මේ වට අපිට ඩේටා ඉන්පුට් කරන්න පුළුවන්. ඒක කලින් ඉගෙන ගන්න මැසේජ් එක කියන්නේ ඉන්පුට් බොක්ස් එකක්. බොක්ස් එක පිටින්ම बॉक्स आपके दिए तो माय दिए हैं इनपुट बॉक्स एक तो मेथड ना बॉक्स एक दिए हैं ना मैं फॉर्म में क्या तूले टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस को डाक दान पुलो तो हम बात इससे में उगल दान ना फॉर्म में इतना कंट्रोल्स दान टेक्स्ट वाटे नाम सेट कराना पुलो हरी अब यार कमांड बटन ट्राई कर ले पहले इधर कमांड बटन ओके कैंसल के लाफी दाम में इधर ये वास सीएमडी ओके इधर नाम में ना स्क्रीन सीएमडी ओके क्लिक के लिए मिले कुछ है इधर एक एक विधि है टापी तो वे ना करेगा ना पुलवा अंत का सामान्य आपी करने का टाव कुत्ती ना ऐ टिको को हम में जा कालिंग लेसन ने का कर लेती है ना इसको बोलता पाला ना कंट्रोल्स वाले टे नाम देने को टे को हम दापी देने के ने का गाना मतलब क्या नहीं था तो टेक्स्ट बॉक्स एक कट आपी सामान्य टीएक्सटी की है ना एब्रिडिय में तो ना तो ये ना प्रीफिक्स ऐकाते दालते අයි මේ ටෙක්ස්ට් බොක්ස් එකේ දාලා තියෙන ටෙක්ස්ට් එක ඊස් නියුමරික් ද කියලා තමයි මේ එක්සැම්පල් එකේදී බලලා තියෙන්නේ. හරි. ඉතින් මේ එක්සැම්පල් එක ඉගෙන ගන්න කලින් ඔයගොල්ලෝ මේක දැනන් ඉන්න ඕනේ. ටෙක්ස්ට් බොක්ස් එකක් කියන්නේ මොකද්ද? ටෙක්ස්ට් බොක්ස් එකක ටෙක්ස්ට් එකක් කියන්නේ මොකද්ද කියන එක. හරි. එක්සැම් එකටත් මේක එනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ සමහර සාමතර දෙයකුත් කියන්නම් දැන් ටෙක්ස්ට් එකක් කියලා කිව්වම සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපි දන්නා වචනයක් කියන එක තමයි අදහස. ඒක ටෙක්ස්ට් එකක් විදිහට මේක ගත්තොත් 1 2 3 4 කියලා තමයි ටෙක්ස්ට් එක. අපි මේක නම්බර් එකක් විදිහට කියවොත් 1234. නේ මම කියන දෙක කියන මම කියපු දෙ විදිහම හරිනේ. මට කියන්න පුළුවන් මොකද්ද මේ ටෙක්ස්ට් බොක්ස් එක ඇතුලේ තියෙන්නේ කිව්වොත් කෙනෙක්ට කියන්න පුළුවන් 1 2 3 4 තියෙන්නේ කියලා. තව කෙනෙක්ට පුළුවන් 1 2 3 4 තියෙන්නේ කියලා. තව ටෙක්ස්ට් බොක්ස් එකක් තියෙනවා කියලා හිතන්න. ඒතර නම් පහේ ඉලක්කම තියෙන්නේ කියලා කිව්වොත් හැකි කෙනෙක් इतर में टेक्स्ट बॉक्स के देखे आगे आने के एक तो कराने के लिए क्यों आते हैं मैं काउंटर हर एक देखा तो ना हाथर क्यों आते हैं मैं यार एक तो कराने को टा एक देखा तो ना हाथर तो पहाड़ के तो कराने बैने के लिए हम ही तेज में ये मैंने तो बोलो एक दास देसी आती सत्र के लिए गातो एक तो එතකොට වැල්ලන්නේ අපි හැම දෙස්සම වැල්ලිම් එකක් විදිහට ටෙක්ස්ට් එකක් විදිහට නෙමෙයි. ඒතර වැල්ලිම් එකක් විදිහට අපි කැල්කියුලේෂන්ස් වලට ගන්නකොට වැල් කියලා පොඩි ටර්ම් එකක් පාවිච්චි කරනවා. වැල් කියලා මෙහෙම දුන්නම. txt number.txt මේ txt number.txt කියන එක ගැන දන්නවා. txt number.txt කියන්නේ 1234. ඒක වැල්ලිම් එක කියලා වැල් කියලා ගත්තොත් අපිට එන්නේ 1234. ඉතින් මේ නම්බර්ස් එක එකට එකතු කරලා ඔබලාට print කරන්න ඕනේ කියන්නේ තන් print කරන්න හරි තව text box එකකට දාන්න හරි කැමති දෙයක් කරන්න පුළුවන් එදිග එකට එකතු කරන්න නම් අපි ගන්න ඕනේ value එක හැම තිස්සෙම val txt number.txt ඊට පස්සේ val txt number2.txt මම මේ දෙවනි එක 2 කියලා ගත්තේ ඒ දෙකේ values දෙක එකට එකතු කරාම තමයි අපිට උත්තරේ ඉන්නේ 1339යි කියලා හරි ත්‍රේ ටික තමයි ඔබලාට මෙතන
Okay, uh, now I added another slide here. This is, if you check LMS, uh, this is not available there in the lecture material. I just added this now, okay? Now make a then add kare. Make a lecture material like a LMS again, make a got to the Edit and Nepa, make a classroom with the Dana, then edit Kalati and the Elements material in Shutaka. Make Balanu, then with the exam, make it a third in Nisa, Mahito, Danikonda Kila. Now uh, look at what you have here. Uh, I just uh, took it, uh, uh, get, got some example from the internet, right, uh, and uh, pasted it here. So here, this is about using the text boxes. Right, I have just mentioned. Uh, I'll explain what happens here. Here you see a form, right? And you know these are labels, right? Okay, you know these are labels. And uh, and here uh, these are also labels, right? Here this one also a label, right? And here uh, again labels. So all these things can be taken as labels. And then the other hand, when you check these two, these two are text boxes. And you know what is this? This is a come on button. Okay. Right. So you know about writing programs. Usually since this is an event-driven programming language, you should have to do something and at that time you will have to execute you, you have to uh, mention what what you have to do right so command one click so how this works is whenever you click this calculate button this is the calculate button whenever you click this calculate button these lines will happen right so usually a program starts with private sub and ends with n sub remember that Right, command one dot click means whenever you click this calculate button, the things in the middle will happen, all these statements. Okay, so here these are just comments, right? It starts with a quote, that means it is just a comment. So first line, this statement will do a task and again, this statement will do a task. Two lines with single code won't execute. Those are just co uh, comments. Okay. The main comment, palavini quotation, echo quotation, ekin, quote taking the any single quote taking the any comment, eka, click a vadaka execute when the app, and ekam, manada may when nikila kila the. Hurry to add the values in text box one and text box two. Palavini text box again, they when it talks box again, the Nabi and the Kaka take a tucker. Hari, Uda Araganati in it. It is some kill Araganati in one. Make a term culling defined Kalati and defined Kalati and Nogolo, dim variable killer, dim dim killer dana, Emanata, wa killer than Napula, wa killer do not tema, data type of network, then Napula, right? With a program part of making in it, may variable like a culling defined Karana, some. Uh, dim sum as number hari he mark kare ithe kare define karanna naththam wa sum kila dammat gattuwak naha ita passe me tika thamai mata visheshayen kiyanna ona ogulanta text one dot text kiyanne me me text box ekey nama text one hari me text box ekey nama text two ita text one ekey text ekak kiyala kiyanne me athule thiyena agaya it was a text two a key text key like a text two a key in a gay that a kai bindu de katamai text one a key in a gay text two a key in a gay pahai bindu de kai the value you have the text you have within text one is one zero zero the text you have within text two is five zero zero so whenever you say text one dot text it will take one zero zero whenever you say text two day dot text it will take five zero zero and here you see well now you are going to get it as a value right so integer value will be taken uh one zero zero means hundred so hundred will be uh taken when you say well within bracket text one dot text on the other hand here also you see well text to date text 
that means you are going to get 500 so plus sign plus is an operation you know that so 100 plus 500 means 600 and from this line what you are going to do is sum is the variable that stores the sum right now 600 is here Label 1 dot caption. Right? Label 1, we label the cafe data. We can caption. 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 caption. We caption. caption. We can caption. We can some make a label like a metal text box text box TXT answer TXT answer dot text killer. set some that is also possible. I the text box. I the text box. I will the text box. I the text box. I text box. I the text box. I the text box. I will 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 the text box. Things to mention for each and every place, right? So you we will have to mention a proper name for an example here. Type uh, type name of control, right? So this is a form, this is a text box, this is a command button, right? So those things should come under here. And when you are uh, giving a value, that properties are also given here, right? Here again, when you are giving the controls, if you whatever you can see can be mentioned in each and every place right so properly mention those ones also so i'm not going to explain uh, those things in detail because examples are given but you have to uh, do is you will have to uh, give the other part right based on the control you have here Write the right codes to give functionality to the following events. Right. When we click on the exit button, close and exit form applications. Uh, so what you have to do is then whenever you click exit, you will, you will have to close it, close the application, right? So this is the command. And whatever the uh, control you use here will be totally based upon what you write here right for an example here exit button here you have the name cmd exit right if you have other name that than this then you will have to use that name right Deal hari tiye na. Ita ta e naam ma thamma mitra program ke di paavichhe karan na ne. Ita gude thamma mail akun uti ka ham bennna. Ta venam ka khari ogullo calculate one click ke lali wo thema akun ham bennna. Right? Don't write any other things. Just uh, refer whatever the things you have for the question. Right? So see here we have CMD exit for the exit button. That's why you have private sub CMD exit click. Right, so uh, this should be private sub should come here, uh, and right. So whenever you click it, this is what you have to use. You, you can simply place end, or else you can simply place unroll me, right? Unload me, sorry. This one, or else this one, right? Any option can be there and for clearing here also txt num1 is the name which i have up here right so here i uh, have txt num1 txt num2 as the names for the text boxes right so you will have to refer those right clear content sorry 
CMD clear, click on the text equal TXT number dot text equal uh, within quotation, you have to use uh, blank, right? Nothing should be displayed here. We also like this. Double quotation, power chikarana. Just remember you have to mention double quotation, okay? If you double quotation, then you can type it in the word. If you type it in the word, you can type it in the word. You can type it in the word. इतना हम तीसरे में हमारे क्लियर कराने के लिए क्या नहीं कंटेंट का आइंग कराएं तो रोगलांडर देंगे अद हाउस के अद दाव से के लिए दोनों आगे डॉट टेक्स्ट क्या नहीं कंटेंट का त्रिलंग का तो हमारे ऐड करने को टा विशेष एक मरा क्यों वो कारण देखा दान वेल के लिए वैल्यू वे का दान नॉन इतना कमान हम अगर एग्जाम्पल का डिफाइन कर लेते हैं ना इतना डिफाइन कर लेते हैं ना वेरिएबल्स तो ना इतना साम किए ने करा एन निकाई एन दिकाई कटे कटे कर ले दाल दें हाँ इतने ये हार्ट आर हमें शेयर कर के मटेरियल लेके दिए ने विधियाँ में ताम ना इतने एक दिन तमाई करा ना नहीं मैं देखो उसे इतना कोटा मर किया ना उन्हें